Hello everyone, as you can see this is Rogue Shriek B550F Gaming Wi-Fi motherboard. Today I'm going to show you all about the BIOS. So we'll get into the BIOS and I will show you all the features, how you can change the boot option, how you can turn on the TPM and how you can enable the actual secure boot and all the other stuff, okay, one by one. So this video is going to be a little bit longer, so stay with me and enjoy the BIOS setting for Rosh Creek B550F Wi-Fi game. The CPU is on as you can see. So first I'm gonna press down the power button. Hold it to turn it off. So keep pressing. Once it turned off, then again, I'm gonna immediately press the power button to turn it on and straight away come back to delete and keep pressing delete button until you see the BIOS screen, okay? So we need to try a couple of times. As you can see, this is the actual BIOS screen. Now on the top left hand side corner, you can see UEFI BIOS Utility Advanced Mode. So ASUS does have two mode of their BIOS screen. One of them Advanced Mode, as you can see, and it gives you the ordinary look like old fashioned, all about details handwriting. Now again, if you press F7, is gonna change the mood and it's gonna give you kind of better illustration with all the fan features and stuff like that. So from here, you can see the, how many fans you do have, about the DRAM and boot priority options. And it's gonna say if it is normal. Again, if you press F7, it's gonna give you advanced mode, which one especially I do like it, okay? So I'm gonna stick with it and I will show you one by one, okay? So from here, as you can see my favorite, in here we can see the BIOS information, the CPU information, and all about this. So in my favorite, you can check the memory frequency and system language and everything, okay? So there is nothing else to do, but there is one option at the bottom, as you can see security. But this security is not similar as HP because you can find any TPM chip settings in here. So this is all about the user passwords and stuff like that. So if you don't want to set up any password or anything, don't mess it with it. Just leave it as it is. Okay. So click again to the main security on the top option to go to the different option. And then we're going to see AI tweaker. Okay. From this option, honestly, this is for the overclocking. If you want to change anything and what service that you want and CPU core ratio, overclocking tuner and everything. So if you don't like to uh, honestly upgrade or let's say overclock your CPU, then you don't need to click anything. You don't need to worry about it. That's quite simple, okay? So that's the second option, which is called AI tweaker. Then if you click on advanced mode, the advanced option, there is everything, you know, as you can see the trusted computing, then the MD, FTPM and every single thing in right here. Okay. So that's the most important part. So as you can see, it says the security device support is enabled. That's mean the TPM, STPM and TPM, those are same thing. So by default, I uh, I think it was turned off. So if you click on enable, it's gonna be turned on and it's gonna give you a warning message. Or let's say if it was turned on, then if you wanna turn off also, it's gonna give you the warning message, okay? Rest everything as it is. Once you make the top one enable, then rest of them is gonna be enable by default. So you don't need to worry about it. So that's the advanced option. Now, if you go to monitor, you can ch check all the temperatures, fan speed and other stuff, okay? So what I normally do, I don't click on anything. I don't change anything unless I need it. I just leave it as it is by default. As you can see, it shows the CPU package, temperature, then motherboard temperature, chipset temperature, and all sensors and fan speed in like that, okay? This also not too important for changing boot option or uh, about the secure boot and other stuff, okay? So monitor, AI tweaker, 
main is not that much important okay so advanced option was important and the next one which one is coming next that is called boot that also would be very important for us and for our settings okay so i'm not going to do anything on the monitor i'm going to go to boot option and from boot option that's all we needed okay as you can see the top option it says boot configuration on the top and then csm support which is part of legacy and then the secure boot so now let's uh, you know hang around here and check once you click here you can see all about the boot settings as you can see the first boot is enabled you know boot logo display how it react and every single thing uh, you can see here then CSM only if you want to change it for the legacy and stuff like that then you need to touch it okay but if you want to go for um, I mean Windows 11 or secure boot you don't need to worry about it you can leave it disabled that's absolutely fine I'm going to leave it enable anyway and as you can see rest of them says legacy only legacy only you know uh, that's all in here so I'm going to leave it as it is I'm not going to do anything right here then the secure boot is the next option as you can see it's a Windows EVFI mode okay so it doesn't say honestly on or off or enable or disable so enable means Windows UEFI mode. So if you leave this option like OS type, Windows UEFI mode, that's mean your secure boot is enable. You know, sometimes they just change the word and they just apply the meaning of it. So as you can see, there are two options. One, it says my Windows, which is existing Windows. And second one is my 3.5 inch SATA hard drive, okay? So I'm gonna leave it like that. It's just to showing you purpose. I made it tenable. So the boot option one and boot option two, all about secure boot would be applied for the windows that I have in existing mode, okay? So that's all about. And now I'm gonna go back to the main screen. Sometimes this, you know, cursor effect does take few clicks to go back so don't be surprised and in the tool option there is nothing to do it's all about flash utilities and everything so as you can see I'm clicking few times to get into the main screen that's absolutely fine so remember there are two things the secure boot in boot option and in advanced option is the actual TPM service so for TPM changes you need to go to advanced mode as you can see and for secure boot you need to go back to the main which is called boot option okay they are not in the same place so remember it so pretty much that's all all about there is nothing else to do if you want to install windows 11 these two major settings would be absolutely fine once you change it and rest everything would be absolutely fine okay and if you go to if you press F7 again then it's going to show you EZ mode okay the same view again as you can see okay you can't do that many things in here except the boot menu which is F8 as you can see the right highlighted option once you take the cursor it turns into red okay and rather than that you can't do nothing on it in EZ mode right so i always do prefer uh, the actual advanced mode and in EZ mode it shows about drm status and everything so this is honestly i would say the highlighted options honestly nothing else to do in here but if you want to do customize and if you see this screen press f7 don't be surprised because they kept two different options now if you do save and exit whatever you changes is gonna show you okay press OK and it's going to restart and apply the changes. So pretty much that's all. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye for now.